News at 10. Good evening to you, friends. On this Friday, I'm Greg Merriweather. We're going to start with a very special moment for some LSU football players, all from their moment, which in some cases made history. Here's Perry Cornelius Robinson the third, with that. Football is a fraternity. But the special bond between this group is hard to put into words. Did I realize how big it was? No. But I realized it was something historical going on. The Brotherhood started in 1971 when Laura Hinton came to LSU at a time when black people were not allowed to play football. But he fought and became the first black player to suit up for the Tigers. His work paved the way for others to come, including former standout Terry Robinski. And everybody was mad at me for coming to LSU. The white people didn't want me here, and the black people didn't want me to come here. And the black people want to know, why'd you come to LSU? What the hell are you doing going to LSU? We don't go to LSU. And the white people, we don't want you. Robinski became a part of that special group of pioneers to break the color barrier within the football team. But as time passed, the group felt the need to reconnect one last time. If we're going to do it, we better do this while some of us are still here. The idea came after the funeral of one of their former teammates. Hinton says he felt compelled to put this together. I'd love to take credit for it, but there's a higher power that had a lot to do with this. Hinton called the school, and they gave the group a tour of LSU's newest football facility. And the one person waiting for them was head coach Brian Kelly. It's about diversity and inclusion and opportunity that exists here today because of you. And, and for me, those are trailblazers, right? Yeah. Yeah. You set that up for others, and the success that we're having today is, is because of you. What do you think about this, man? I'm born too soon. <laughs> I'm born too soon, that's right. For some, this is their first time back on campus since the 70s. For us to walk on the campus today, and to see the uh, minorities, the inclusion, to see what Coach Kelly has got going with the program, to walk into every door and see somebody of our complexion, like, whoa, who, 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 you know, where'd this come from? You know what I mean? Uh, it's phenomenal. Ain't that sweet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of this group, Jaden Daniels, Jamar Chase, Kevin Falk, and so many others were given the opportunity to play in Death Valley. I just didn't know I'd be coming here 50 years later. Or uh, 60 years later, and it'll be all this. I, I, I never knew that. Ed LSU, Perry Robinson, WAFB 9 News. Thank you for that, Perry. And those players will actually be honored tomorrow during the game against Georgia State. Perry, who just did that story, stick around. He's got some new.